Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So hi, hello, if you don't know me or if you're new here, my name is Vicky and I do primarily makeup videos, but now I'm getting into a little bit of skincare, body care, just whatever, a little mixture of everything. So today's video is going to be my 2020 makeup inventory. So I'm gonna go through everything category by category, break it down by numbers, compare it to last year. And yeah, so if you are interested in seeing everything that I have in my makeup collection, then just keep watching. So first I just kinda wanted to show you guys where I keep all of my everyday makeup. So I have this little makeup organizer and mirror. It's a light up mirror from Amazon. I'll try to link it down below if I remember. I basically just have my palettes right here, a little mirror, my concealers, eyeliner, brow, mascara, just everyday stuff, powder, blush bronzer, primer, foundation, couple sprays and yeah so this is just everyday stuff but I'll you know lay all this out and show you what it is. Next I just kind of wanted to show you an overview of my Alex 9 drawer. Not all of it is makeup but I'll just show you a little inside peek. The first thing in here is just a couple like hair accessories so no need to go through that. The next thing in here are all my brushes, face brushes and then eye brushes and then I have a few cleaners back there. The third drawer is all of my face products. So I have foundations, primers, powders, my cream products, blush, bronzer, and highlight. The next drawer is all of my eye stuff. So eyeliners, brow stuff, mascara, some tools, single shadows, and cream shadows. This next drawer is all of my lip products. So I kind of have seasonal stuff glosses, some minis, and some lip liners. I've got lip care back here, and then these are kind of some seasonal ones that aren't really, I'm not using right now, kind of fall and winter stuff. And then this is the last drawer of makeup, so I have all of my eye palettes, my face palettes, some lashes, some glitters, just kind of mi mis mix match of everything, but yeah, that's the last drawer of makeup. Okay, so as you can see, I've laid everything that I own out on the bed. So let's get started. This side is the face products and that side will be the eyes and the lips. So the first section that I have are my primers. I currently have seven and in 2019 I had 12. So I definitely decreased the size of this collection pretty severely, which I am very happy about. I've got three minis. I'm actually almost done with the no problem one. And then I have four full size. I'm working on finishing this one and yeah. Next, we're on to concealers. Last year I had seven and this year I have six. So this is actually a under eye corrector, but I just included it with my concealers. I use these pretty much every day. I'm trying to use up my ColourPop no filter because I know it goes bad quickly. This one is my summer shade and yeah, this elf one I just have not using it right now though. Next section is the foundation. So I have four and a half. I consider this little sample a half. And last year I had 11. So I definitely decreased, decreased this a lot. I mainly did a declutter of a bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah, right now this really is my favorite one, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I'm using this pretty much every single day and sometimes I'm mixing it with the Yinsa BC foundation. This is kind of a darker color, so I mix the two um, just because I have this one in light. But yeah, those are all of my foundations. Next section is the powders. So I currently have four. Last year I had five. I got rid of the Cody Airspun. I just kind of realized that I had only really been using it in the summer and when I did full faces of makeup. I don't really do a full beat anymore, so I don't really need that baking powder anymore. Um, but yeah, so this is my favorite face one. It kind of actually wore off the packaging. It's the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. I think they might actually be discontinuing this. I can't find it on Ulta anymore, so that's pretty sad. Um, and then I have two banana powders. I'm not using this one right now because it's actually a little too yellow. Um, so it's a little too dark for my skin tone. 
So maybe I'll use this one so I'm a little bit more tanned. I'm using this one right now, the Derma Blend, and then I have this pretty vulgar matte setting powder. So if I ever do wanna bake, I can just use this. So next section are all of my highlighters. This year I have nine and I'm considering this sample a half, so I have nine and a half. And last year I had 16, so I severely decreased this um, just by decluttering some. So I'll start from the top. I do have this Becca kind of little sample set. It was a powder and a cream. Now I just have the liquid left and this is in Prosecco Pop. And then I have a glitter drop. I have the Mary Kay Illuminating Drops, which I've been using in the summertime. And I have the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. I have two Essence Pure Nude. This is the Sunlighter, so it's kind of golden. And then the highlight, I really, really love this. I have this Becca highlight in the shade Prosecco Pop. Oh wait, this one's not Prosecco Pop. This one is, sorry, this one is actually an opal which is like a champagne color. And then I've got these three kind of mini ones. This is the Estate Baked Highlighter in Doomy. It's kind of a pinky toned highlight, as well as this pinky one from Ofra, which is in Pillow Talk. And then I have this one that came as a single in an Ipsy, and it's in the shade Moon Dust from Ciate London. It's not in a magnetic packaging, so I don't know why they would send me this without like proper packaging on it because I can't even put it in a Z palette. That makes me kind of mad, but it's a really pretty highlight, so I can look past it. So for bronzers, last year I had four and this year I have five. I did just buy the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, which I really have been loving. Um, this is the Morphe Bronzer in Debutante. It's very dark, so I can only really use this in summer. This is actually a Lisa Frank bronzer. I really just kept it for the packaging. It's so cute, um, but it's a little orangey. So as well, um, this one as well, I can only really use in the summer. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil mini bronzer. And then one of my favorites, the Ulta Baked Bronzer. This is so beautiful. It's stunning on. For blushes, I had 13 last year and this year I have nine. So I'll start out over here. I did just buy the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Cinnamon. I have the Wet n Wild Blush Stick in Floral Majority. I have this one from a Advent Calendar with NYX. It's Land of Lollies. It's a very, very bright, vibrant color. And then I've got this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Quirky. I've got this one I really, really, really enjoyed in the fall time. It is from Laura Geller. It's a baked gelato swirl in Plumberry. It's very gorgeous. This one as well I was using in the fall time. It's Morphe's Spirit. It's a little glittery. I've got this Anastasia Trio and this is in Coral, no, sorry, Peachy Love. But I do really love these colors for the spring and summer. So I'll break this one back out. And then I've got this beautiful Baked Blush and Brighten from Laura Geller, and it did crack, but it is in the shade Tropic Hues, absolutely gorgeous. Then I've got this Essence Satin Touch Blush in, I believe, Satin Love, that's right, and the packaging broke. Every one of these that I've ever had, every Essence package thing like this has always, oops, has always, has always. has always broken, my bad. It's got a little bit on my blanket. But yeah, every one of these has always broken on me, but this is a very gorgeous everyday color, so I kept it for that. And then another section that I'm very happy to have downsized is my facial sprays. So I currently have only four, and in 2019 I had nine, so I did finish a lot of them and I did declutter a lot of them, but right now I'm using these two. This is the Pixie Glow Mist. This is an absolute love and it always will be. I seriously love this so much. So I use this when I want to be a little glowy. And then the Milani Make It Last. I've actually really liked this. Um, never tried it before, but first time trying it, I loved it. And it really does make your makeup last a little longer. So this will probably get a lot of good use in the summertime. And then I've got this one from a FabFitFun box from Skin & Co. It's another illuminating mist. And then I'm not really sure what to do with this, but this is like a spray facial water. Um, so I figure I'll bring it with me 
when I go to the beach maybe in the summertime or when I'm just really hot outside and it's just supposed to, you know, cool you down, so. That is it for the face side. So moving on, the next section I have are mascaras. So currently I have six. I do have, these two are unopened. I did open this and put it back in the packaging. Um, I use the Mary Kay Lash Primer every single day. And I've been using the Stila Huge Lash um, every day, trying to get rid of my minis. And then I also have a Lancome Monsure Big Mini. The next section are brow products. I had 11 last year and this year I only have six. I'm very proud of the progress I've made in this section because I've actually used up everything. Um, so it was actually two items that I've already used up. I'm currently using the Chella Brow Cream. I really, really love this. It's very natural, but still gives you some really good definition. And then I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow. That's almost gone. So I did pick up a CoverGirl Brow Gel, have not opened it. Um, and then I have one from the 99 Cent Store, Smoke and Mirrors. I have one from AOA, and then I have the Flower Beauty Brow Vixen Tattoo Stain, which I actually use for fake freckles. So for eyeliners, I do currently have 15. I did not take inventory of this last year, so we're just gonna have to go based off this year, but I think I have way too many, personally. Um, but I do have three liquid liners. I have two Ico ones that came in Ipsy bags, and then I have this Mary Kay liquid eyeliner. I've got quite a few black liners. This is an Urban Decay one that I'm trying to finish off. This is Modster. This is a Wet n Wild one that came in a holiday kit. And this is the Ciate London Wonderland. And then I've got another 99 cent store find. This is a brown double-ended eye pencil. I have two NYX faux blacks. One is an Onyx, which is kind of like a gray blue. And then one in this maroon color, which is burnt sienna. This is the Jante Blue Star Eyeliner, it's glittery. And then I've got two Essence Liners, one in Silky Nude and one in White. I've got two AOA Liquid Starlet Liners. One is in Spotlight and the other is Golden Girl. These are really fun for looks. I don't use them that much, but I like to keep them around. And then I've only got one eye primer. Pretty proud of this, you really only need one, guys. Next category are my single shadows. So last year I had 11 and now I have six. So I have this Helios Beauty one. This is absolutely gorgeous. It kind of shifts a little blue, but it is kind of like a champagne color. It is in Pinkies Up. I love this shade. And then I've got this Ella Eden shadow. It's a maroon in Willow. And then I've got this teal blue color. It's really gorgeous. And this is the Elizabeth Mott, Pop Goes the Shadow in Mermaid Teal. And then I've got these three. I tried to depot it, actually. This is from the NYX Advent Calendar a couple years back. And I didn't realize that they're not actually magnetic. They are in um, metal packaging, but they are not magnetic, so I couldn't put them in a Z palette. But this is Sweet Tooth, just kind of like a shimmery champagne. This one is in Cookie Cutter. It's a good like base lid shade. And this one is in Whipped Mocha. As for liquid shadows, this time last year I only had six and now I have eight. So I did get rid of a few and then I got this four pack of Wet n Wild liquid cat suits for Christmas. So that added quite a bit, but I do have these two Stila, um, these aren't the glitter and glow, they're the shimmer and glow. And one is in Kitten and one is in Starlight, very beautiful. I've got this Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. I've got the Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Amethyst. And then these four. Putty in my hands, just a plain old lid shade. A glittery gold in Gold Deluxe. A brown copper-ish color. And this is a glitter in the shade Cashmere Love. And then a shimmery red color in the shade Ruby Heist. The next section is all of my lip care products. So last year I had 19 and now I have 15. I do have these five that came in a set and they're Revlon um, balm stains. And then I've got this one EOS, one from Eczema Honey, a Mint Cocoa Burt's Bees. I've got two liquid, um, I guess, I don't even know what to call these, but like liquid chapsticks. Uh, one is just plain Vaseline and one is the Hemp's lip balm. I've got these two EOS and then a bubble tea lip balm. It's like a little macaron, very cute. 
And then I've got these two lip scrubs. This is the Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Mask. And then the Bath & Body Works Mint Drop Exfoliating Scrub. This is so good. If they come out with this again, I highly recommend getting it. It smells good. It tastes good. Don't eat it. <laughs> but it does taste good because some of it gets in your mouth. And it feels good. It's like a little invigorating on your lips. So I highly recommend this. So for my lip gloss section, I started out with 15 in 2019 and now I have 15. <laughs> I got rid of quite a few, but I also picked up these two holiday sets. So this is the Too Faced uh, Better Not Pout, but if you do keep it glossy set. Um, this is Rum Cake, just like a nice shimmery red. I use this a lot in the winter time. This is the Sugar Plum. It's just a pink, beautiful little shade. This is in Eggnog, which actually fits it very real. well. I didn't realize that. <laughs> and then this one is Peppermint Bark. Very pretty clear. And then these three are from the Kylie Holiday Collection. This one is in Ho Ho Ho. Just a shimmery white. These two are very similar, but different formulation. This red gold shimmery one in Wish Come True. And then this gold shimmery one in Must Be Magic. And then I've got these two minis from NYX. I have the NYX, NYX Butter Gloss in Glazy Days. And then the NYX This Is Everything Lip Oil in Cranberry. These are both from the Advent Calendar. I've got the NYX Slip Tease Lip Oil in Fire Dancer. Very pretty for the fall and winter. I've got the NYX Liquid Catsuit in Cedar Later. I absolutely love this in the fall time. I've got the Belle in Argent Lip Lure Gloss. I don't actually know the shade because it the sticker came off on the bottom, but it's red. My only red gloss. I've got this Tardis Lip Paint Gloss in Strike Gold. I've got the LA Colors Lip Gloss in Fresh. This actually is a very beautiful formula. I really, really love this. And then I've got two of the Essence Wet Look Lip Glosses. These are so cheap and so worth your money. I have it in the clear one, in the shade behind the scenes, and then the pink in Happiness in a Bottle. I would get more of these, but I'm on a lip care no buy or lipstick, lip, whatever, no buy for all of 2020. So I will not be purchasing more of these, but they are amazing. As for lip liners, I had six in 2019 and now I have five. I used up a Mary Kay Medium Nude Lip Liner. Now I'm working on the Lipstick Queen Nude Lip Liner. I have the gel liner from Wet n Wild. I also have another one. This is in the shade Don't Be a Prune. It's like a berry purple. This one was in Bear to Comment. I have the Jante Blue Lip Liner in a Brown Sugar. And then I've got an Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in Deeply Intoxicated. For mini lipsticks, I used to have 17 in 2019, and now I only have eight. So I have this two pack from Ciate London. These are the glitter flips that you rub your lips together and then they turn glittery. They're really cool. I have them in the red is forbidden and the nude is whisper. I have these three from NYX. These two are the liquid suede's and the pink is in Star Trek, Starstruck and the orange is in Peanut Brittle and then Soft Matte Lip Cream in Kiev. These are also from the Advent Calendar. This is a real her mini lipstick in Mauve. I've got the Bonjour Lip Stain in I guess Salute. I'm not quite sure but the color looks just like this. And then I've got the Bite Beauty Lip Crayon. This came in a Sephora birthday gift set um, in the shade Glace. As for regular lipsticks, I have 18. I'll start up here with my bullet lipsticks. I've got the MAC lipstick in Epic. It is a purple shade. I got this for free on National Lipstick Day a few years ago. I've got the Ulta Beauty Chocolate Kiss lipstick. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this formula. I've got the Clinique Love Pop lipstick, also came in an Ipsy. It's like a very pretty shimmery pink. I've got this Mary Kay one in Pro Murtillo. It's a very dark, deep, vampy lipstick. And then I've got this Maybelline lipstick in Spice For Me. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was a favorite for me in the fall. It's like a pumpkin spice color. I've got these two NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. The red is in Monte Carlo. And this brown purple is in Budapest. I've got two Galactic Matte Lip Paints. These are a beautiful formula. 
Um, the pink is in Blossom and the nude is in Demure. I highly recommend these. These are gorgeous. This pink is really pretty and I'm excited to wear it a lot in the spring and summer. I've got these two Revlon Color Burst Matte Lip Balms. The red is in Standout and the kind of nudie pink is in Sultry. This formula is also really good. It doesn't really dry out your lips, but it does stay a really long time. Next is the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Ziggy. This is also a fall color. Let's show you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another kind of pumpkin spice color, but this one's much matter. It does stay on for very long, but I did notice that it dried out my lips. I've got this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Candy. It's a bright pink. It's not really showing up as bright on the camera, but it's very bright. I've got this Mary Kay Lip Tint in Desert Flora. It's just like a pink tint. This is actually really good for days where I know I can't reapply lipstick. So I've got the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter Lip Balm in the shade Brazilian Sunset. This is very, very messy, but it's pretty gorgeous and very hydrating. So if you're looking for something hydrating, I definitely recommend this. And then I've got this four pack of the NYX lingerie lipsticks. These are all matte. I got them in a set for Christmas again, but this was a few years ago. This one is in push up, which I use the most. This one is cashmere silk, which is a little bit um, cooler toned. This one is a little pinkier in Black Book, and this one is darker in Embellishment. It's kind of a darker mauve color. The next section that I have are my face palettes. So last year I had nine, now I only have four. I am including this Mary Kay little mini palette because I do have a few colors in here. I've also got another cheek color right here and some single shadows. But this is the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. I love the formula of these, so amazing. And then I've got this Holographic Highlighter Palette from Naked Cosmetics. And then I've got possibly my favorite um, highlighter palette and my favorite highlighter is the Soph X Revolution Makeup Palette. This is just, Ugh, oh, amazing. Everything in here is beautiful. I seriously love it so much. As for eye palettes, I didn't really count this section last year, so now I have 11, and I am including this Mary Kay one with some single shadows in it. I have two Anastasia um, eye palettes. I have the Norvina palette, and then I have Subculture. I've got the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. The next thing is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. Very beautiful, I got this for Christmas. This is the, what is this? Crown Beauty Fuego palette. The next one I have is the Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal palette. Then I've got the Too Faced Hot Butter Rum palette. And then I've got the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday palette from this past year. And then the last palette is the Alamar Cosmetics Rena Del Caribe Volume 1 palette. So that ends it for my entire makeup collection and inventory video for 2020. All right guys, so that was my entire makeup collection. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, comment down below, anything that you noticed from my collection that you also have or that you love or that you wanna try. Yeah, I'd just love to hear what you have to say. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.